Okay, welcome back. Uh, let me go here. I'm probably going to go to sleep soon because I'm very tired. It's not, it's not exactly seven doublings, so that's not true. So is Ray Kurzweil right here? No, it doesn't make sense. Look, we have six iterations here. One, two, three, four, five, six. So to, so to get to the next value, we're going to have to ascertain what is the particular value we're going to multiply by, and the last, not doubling, but the last multiplication that we're going to need. So let's get out the calculator. Use another calculator because we're doing one there. So, so let's see what's the solution to that. Uh, what's we're gonna have? Let's do a ratio here of 100 minus 64, and then we get 36. So it's 36 over 100. Okay, I think my I think my thought process was that you've got a value of 64 in total from the six doublings. So you're trying to define. You're trying to find the discrepancy that's left over, uh, which is 36. Then, to further explain myself in terms of what I did, uh, when you have that 36, you need to divide by, not by 0.64. You need to multiply to uh, the size factor that you want to double, that you want to increase by. But we know it's not going to be a doubling, so you need to multiply 2 times 0.64 which is going to be 64% because we're talking about percentage here. So you got that decimal value of 0.64. Then that gives you a value of 1.28. So what does that mean exactly? That means that 64% of 2 is 1.28. So when you try and get the particular value of, of, um, of what you're looking for, you're going to need to divide 2 by 1.28. Right? Yes. So, sorry about that. Uh, like I said, I'm being raped and tortured severely, and I'm very tired. How much space do we have left? 4.78 gigabytes. I'm going to make this short, because I'm going to need to sleep soon and take a break. Then I'll upload the videos, and then maybe I'll work on the program later. Sorry about that. Um, the reason that we're doing 64%, like I said, is because that's the nominal value of the sixth iteration of doublings, 64, 64%. So you're going to have to take 64% of 2, which is 1.28, and to determine the next uh, the next size factor increase, you're going to have to divide out that 64% from the 2. And why is that necessarily true? Because that's the ratio that establishes the, the nominal value of your new size factor increase. Because it necessarily proves that even though you, you've got the 64% there, you need to still figure out what multiple you're going to use uh, to increase the, the 64 to, to 100. And using these simple proportions, we find out that it's actually uh, uh, 1.5625 as a size factor in the seventh iteration to get to 100. Sorry that I, that I lost my train of thought there. So. Let's spend a few more minutes maybe working on the program. So I hope I explained it well yet again, because I didn't do it here necessarily so. I didn't explain my, my, my reasoning and thought process. But I should have just figured it out by looking at it. But I'm sorry. Sometimes, like when you're really tired and you're being raped and tortured, for example, for many hours on end, you can end, your, your cognitive function, even in tropic compounds, is not necessarily so good anymore. So, And also, keep in mind, I haven't slept in 22 hours, so... Listen, modafinil and caffeine, and even all the nootropics that I take, are still not magic pills and, smart, and, and panaceas. They work really well, but when you when you enter extrinsic uh, 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 variables like rape and torture, uh, they're gonna they're gonna severely hamper every day your ability to do good work because you're literally being raped and tortured. So I'm not gonna forgive you. So what's the solution to the program? Uh, what we're going to have to do is what we did there. We're going to need to find the particular variables 
uh, the particular set of proportions that we need to establish to, to get the last size factor. The last size factor. But we need to set up a statement here where if we get to a certain value without actually put, deliberately inputting the answer ourselves, because we derive the answer mathematically, we need to do it algorithmically with proportions and ratios uh, with the variables uh, we're presumably using one or two if statements in this in this for loop, uh, but it's going to take a little bit more work than that. So I'm sorry about that. So like literally what I just what we just did is going to have to translate into this particular programming. So x is going to be our initial our initial multiplication value which is going to be 2. And y is not going to be 1.5625 or whatever, or 1, 1, 1.28. We're going to have to establish y as being a, 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 a ratio or proportion. So let's use 100 over even i, as a matter of fact, i is better. It's 100. 100 is, is the nominal value, but we really want to be talking about y. Is there i? i over what exactly? I'm not going to forgive you. i over what? This is kind of a hard problem, honestly. Let me use the bathroom. I'll be right back. Am I still being raped and tortured? Yeah. But I'm going to have to stop recording soon because I only have approximately 4.72 gigabytes left of space. So I'm at 4.69 right now. So I'm going to have to upload the videos. No, Mark Zuckerberg. It's not an excuse. You're still trying to justify raping and torturing people. I'm not going to forget. So let's try this for like, I don't know, because I, I still have some significant space left. Let's see how much space um, that 8 hour video took, so I get a good idea. Eight point fifteen gigabytes for what? Sorry, it wasn't even eight hours. Seven hours and eighteen minutes and twenty-four seconds. Four thirty-eight, right? Here we're doing it in minutes. That's the total amount of minutes. That's two gigabytes per minute. Okay. So then what we're going to do, because we're not going to, I don't want to get close to exceeding this because 
no, the page file is not involved. That's RAM. There's really no consequence for, for getting close to this, but I have to clear up space somehow because how am I going to keep recording videos? So I'm going to have to do something. So I'm just going to see what I'm going to reasonably do. I'm not going to read. So let's say I want to just use two gigabytes or whatever. Bytes per minute. What the fuck, man? Let's do it the other way around. So that's fifty three minutes per gigabyte. I want 53.8. Let's just use 53.79. Man, I'm so fucking exhausted. So roughly speaking, um, we can we can we're gonna use two gigabytes for two hours of of, of footage. A little bit less. So it's 107 minutes. Which is approximately 1.793 hours. So I could stay here for another two hours, but honestly, I'm really tired, so... I want to try and get some sleep because I haven't slept in 22 hours. And you clearly see my cognitive functioning is severely decreasing. And as I mentioned, even in my research paper, like my IQ, in terms of when I test myself, when I was extremely tired, can deviate sometimes by like 36 to 48 basis points when I'm extremely tired. Is there a, is there a lot of research studies about that? I'm much larger than that. It has a much larger effect on me. Like, literally, it's almost like two or three standard deviations for me. Let's see what I wrote in my research paper. Let's see what, exac what I exactly wrote. I'm not going to forget you. So, in terms of using this website, which I clearly found out was kind of bullshit, but, I mean, I don't know, there's not that many free websites, so I had a, I had a, a bunch of other tests on other websites, but I have to find those images again, because I didn't save the web pages. This, this was just, these were just the results that I took down. But I'm willing to take a Mensa test, but I think IQ is kind of bullshit anyway, but I'm willing to take a Mensa test, and I would consider that to be in terms of getting a real IQ test, a mental proctor test, even if I have to pay for it. I don't have money right now, but in the future, sure, um, to get a real good idea of what what they what they would consider to be my IQ. And whatever I get, I don't want them to, you know, puff up the score or anything. Just just give me the actual answer. So So 34 basis points, if a standard deviation is about 15 basis points within and of itself, is approximately almost two base, uh, standard deviations, I'm sorry. So let's do the math on that. Uh, fuck, man. It's 2.2, almost 2.27 standard deviations. So that's 
what I noticed. Um, but I use other websites too. I just didn't mention them. I gotta find all of the images that I had because I think I posted them to Facebook. There were a few ones where I got like 160. One of them I got 180. And they weren't bullshit sites, so. But I have to take a real mental test to have a better understanding of something that's much more rigorous and has been well substantiated, so. So it's 146. I didn't mention the average there, so why am I why did I say that exactly? Because what am I comparing that to? Obviously not the highest I've ever scored, but 146 wasn't my average. My average was about 132.8. When I was testing, this is before I extensively took nootropics like for a long time. I'm sorry, I'm so fucking tired. I'll work on that stuff later. Oh boy. Hopefully, I can go to sleep and they're not gonna rape me and torture me. I'm not gonna forgive you. So, this is a little bit off. So, if we're gonna use if we're going to use the, the average there, it's only 20 basis points in terms of what I had. 20.8 basis points, which is how many standard deviations? One point, almost 1.39, approximately. So I don't know what the fuck I was saying there. Do I have any spreadsheets for this? Let me check. To be honest, you guys really distracted me today because I literally got nothing done today besides explain answers to your questions, but I was mostly defending myself and further providing proof that I'm not a fraud and so on and so forth because you kept doing the same bullshit that you always do to me. But tomorrow, if I get a, a significant amount of sleep, I'm just going to try and ignore you to the best of my ability and maybe do something new and different that's pragmatic and useful. Frat doesn't work in this particular search engine. No, Ruben didn't teach me about exponential regression. And I proved that to you. And telecommunications providers can also prove... And I'm sorry, maybe Ruben presumed that I was stupid because he knew better. But maybe he has another way of doing that. He didn't respond to me, so whatever. What the fuck is this shit? I'm not going to forgive you. This one. Um, that's just not a corrupted file, but like not a header file. But what the fuck is that? I forgot what those things are called. You know what I can do? I can search by the terms that I used, or even just the values.
That's clearly not it. Maybe it's in here too. Did I lose this? I could have swear to God that I had it. What the fuck, man? No, Ruben didn't do it for me. I'm not going to forgive you. See here. I think I lost the spreadsheet. Fuck, man. That's not good. Whatever. I can't find it, so... Let's check this again. I'm not mentally incompetent. Okay, I think I just lost it. Let's see if I can even spend a little bit more time on this. To be honest, I really don't want to. I'm probably just going to upload the videos because I'm so fucking tired. I haven't slept in 22 hours. And I don't have all of the supplements and the bioenhancing agents and stuff. So I had to keep continually redosing. Okay, um, maybe we'll work on this tomorrow. I'll leave it open and put, it, like, put my computer in sleep mode. And then maybe we'll find a solution tomorrow. Even though this is a simple problem for the best of the programmers or whatever. Okay. I'm going to upload this to YouTube and just go to sleep. See you later.